Good morning. Happy Monday. Austin here, cracking junk removal. Tri City's number one top choice for junk removal and home cleanouts. So, today we are doing a shed demolition over here in Kingsport, Tennessee. So, I'm going to turn you around and job. So, here's the shed we're looking at. Uh, it's already starting to fall down, as you can see. So, it is pretty beat up. Shingles are already falling off. Animals, it looks like they've already tried to make their way inside. Uh, we do have to actually empty the shed first, so we can't take any of the hazardous waste, such as the propane tank, the paint, and the chemicals, but um, the customer wants to keep the shovels, uh, the ladder, and everything else is going to be trash, so uh, we're going to have to take those items out first. Uh, even looks like there's some animal scat, so animals have already been making their way in here. Uh, we just got to make sure not to hit the roof or the downspouts, but over here should be pretty clear, so don't have to really worry about anything there, but overall should be pretty straightforward. Uh, easy job. Let's go ahead and see how long this shed is. Uh, it looks like it's maybe 12 feet, I don't know, three, four inches or so. If we measure where the shed actually ends, let's see, the width of this, we're at about 106.5, almost 107 inches. Right, let's go ahead and measure the height of the shed. Uh, so we're at the peak, uh, let's see. I have this little stone that I'm on. So it looks like it's at about 90, uh, about 100 inches to this stone slab. Maybe another inch. So about, because it's on the ground, so you're probably about 100 inches uh, in height. So that puts this at roughly 33 cubic yards. So. Uh, given the shape and the condition that it's in, you can already see it falling apart. Let me know uh, how much would you charge to demo, yeah, haul away, and dispose of all the items here. A lot of them in the shed, and the shed itself would all be going to the landfill. So let me know how much you guys would charge for this. Job. Yeah, most of the shed already cleared out. Uh, I'm gonna keep these racks. They look like they're in pretty good condition. And if you remember that last job I did, I scored those fishing poles. Customer says she doesn't want these tax boxes. And uh, they look to be full of some decent stuff too. Uh, that one's actually a nice little tackle box. This one looks like it's full. So, man, I guess when I'm not working, I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing, hopefully. Yep. Busting out the side panels, as you can see. I'm gonna leave the frame intact. Do the roof next after we get these side panels out. Shouldn't be too long though. Doing a good job. We got most of the side walls already out. We got Daniel on the inside busting out the rest of this roof. And then we're gonna get uh, this top part last, and then we'll knock down. These two by fours, pick up everything outside, sweep up this part. The customer said she might want to keep that there, so we got to find out. All right, here's what we got loaded so far. Uh, should be a pretty easy uh, load for us to haul away. Shouldn't be too much. We should be able to get it all in there, no problem. But yeah, it's starting to get pretty hot out here, so we're ready to get this done leave this roof on for some shade so we got all the side pieces off but we got this piece of metal looks like it's holding everything up looks like it goes all the way to the top and as you can see it goes all the way over to the other side probably in pieces so uh we're gonna go ahead now and knock out uh these back panels uh take out that window we don't want to get the glass everywhere and then we're gonna knock out these uh studs yeah all right so now we got the shed down now we just got to pick up the wood 
we just knocked these out that were holding it up but we just it was already starting to lean towards the back so these studs were pointing this way so we just hit them this way and it all collapsed we didn't want to push it forward to hit the roof or this post or the side of our house but in the back we had uh we had this here to kind of catch it to prevent it from hitting the fence which is kind of nice but it didn't even go that way it just kind of caved in on itself so it worked itself out Good. All right, so now we just got to cut the deck of the shed so we're gonna sawzall through it but here's what it looks like underneath so you can see there's the electricity right through right into the ground all right, we are all finished. The shed is no longer there. We got it all loaded up. We took off the base and everything as you saw. So here's all the shed that was once over here is now in here. And I'll swing you around this side. You can see here, we are able to fit it all in here. So. Another happy customer served by Kraken Junker Mover.